In this video, I want to conclude our discussion of the matrix representation of factor analysis models. So in the last video, we had written that our dependent variable matrix Y N V, where N is the number of individuals in our sample and V is the number of observed characteristics, was equal to some sort of matrix of factor scores, which had N rows and a small F to indicate the number of factors, times some transpose of a weightings matrix, which is equal, or which has dimensions rather, of the number of factors as the number of rows, times V columns. And then what we did at the end of the last video is we just said that the error term here was just a matrix which was of the same size as the dependent variable, so it had dimensions n, v. So just to be concrete here, n represents the number of individuals, f here indicates the number of factors, and finally v indicates the number of observed characteristics. So in the example we're talking about, those were the four characteristics, insomnia, suicidal thoughts, hyperventilation, and nausea. Typically in factor analysis models, what we quite like to do is we quite like to write this disturbance term in a way which is similar to that of the variance due to the common share factors. So what we do is we rewrite our error term, epsilon nv, as being equal to some matrix which has dimensions nv, which contains the unique factor scores for each individual. And it's that times a matrix of the weightings on each of those individual variables. So DVV, which we typically actually write as DVV prime, just such, as, such that it's in the same form as above, actually contains the weightings of these unique factors on each of the observed variables. So typically here, DVV, is assumed to be a diagonal matrix where the diagonals represent the weights of these unique factor scores on each of the specific variables. So the diagonals here are, let's say, lambda u1 through to lambda uv. And I've just written a u here to indicate the fact that we're actually talking about the unique factors just to distinguish these weightings with those weightings which are on the latent factors which we assume to be common between each of the different variables. And because it's a diagonal matrix, all the off diagonal elements are assumed to be zero. So finally, we can rewrite our equation in its full form, which is y n v is equal to f n small f times p primed f v plus, now we're gonna have u n v, where u is our unique variables, or unique factors, scores rather, times d primed v v. So this is our equation for factor analysis models written in its complete form.